They are branded as one of the most persecuted communities in the world by the UN, yet nobody knows their name. They are the Forgotten People. Despite their existence in Burma, dating as far back as the 8th century, Rohingyas are denied citizenship and condemned as illegal immigrants. Targeted as a result of their religion and race, the Rohingya suffer oppressive levels of discrimination, land confiscation, and denial of very basic human rights are characteristics of everyday reality for the Rohingya people. In recent weeks, the escalating violence has displaced more than 90,000 Rohingya people. Villages are being burnt and children mercilessly killed. Survivors are desperately trying to escape persecution and seeking refuge in neighboring countries but have been rejected by border guards. Boats of starving, injured and dying men, women and children are being turned away, forced to make a choice. Either return to death in Burma or wait for death on open sea. Due to the neglect from the media and governments alike, the majority of people are unaware of this dire situation. My sisters, brothers and other relatives were burnt alive. They burnt my own children. We couldn't bear it anymore, so we came to Bangladesh. The Coast Guard turned us back three times, and we floated at sea for four days and four nights, and then we managed to sneak in. Three of our children were burned to death in Burma. Another two died in the boat getting here. <laughs> The persecution against the Rohingya can be described in no other terms but that of ethnic cleansing and genocide.